Peace. It's Equality of Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference, the understanding of my cipher. It's peace. For all those returning to my channel, I humbly appreciate your support. For all those new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. The like button goes a long way. So with that being said, take this time out. Let's hit that like button. Okay, now that that's done, come on in, sit down, and let's build. Today, I'll be doing my full review on Independent Fragrance House of Monteef Olfactive. And that fragrance house was created by a YouTube reviewer named Mr. Oz. I'll leave his um, YouTube page in the, in the description as well as the company's information in the description. I purchased this fragrance with my own money. This fragrance was not sent to me. So of course the opinions are that of my own. And the fragrance I'll be discussing is Vertu de Vert. This is a vetiver fragrance through and through. We're going to be discussing what I think about the fragrance, the note, the breakdown, and how I felt about the overall experience and if it's worth it and how would I rank it. Um, as most of you know, or if you don't know, when I purchase or receive, I haven't received many bottles, but when I purchase a full presentation, I have to at a minimum get seven days of wearing. And if it's a two ML sample, I try to stretch that out at least four days before I even give my opinions or thoughts unless I do a first impression. The reason is, it's just like watching a movie what you thought when you first smelt something or you first watched something can change over time and every fragrance has not failed me it always does it and that's rather for the good or it's for the bad but not to take up too much time let's go ahead and discuss the notes you have haitian vetiver bourbon vetiver vetiver from paraguay you have yuzu bergamot cypress oak moss frankincense Cedarwood, Indian sandalwood, and myrrh, patchouli, clean wet soil, hinoki wood, yangalane, jasmine, and the rose. Man, that is a lot, but you know how I say, what does that do and how does that translate on skin? Let me spray this on to be reminded of the opening. Nice mess. When you first get this, you're going to get hit with a really bright group of citruses, the yuzu. You're going to get hit with this lemony accord, which comes from the frankincense. You're going to get hit with bergamot, but most importantly, you're going to get hit with a dense, rich, earthy, soily, wet grass. What do I mean by that? Imagine waking up in, um, in the morning, in the spring. I'm talking about like middle of spring. You can smell the dew off the, coming off the grass. And you cut grass and then you start pouring the bag of grass into your um, paper bag so it can get be picked up. That smell you get as the soil and the grass is falling into your bag is the smell you get hit with this. And then imagine citruses laying on top of it. That's what you get here. It is a beautiful, dense vetiver. But that's within the hour and a half mark. After hour and a half mark, the Haitian veteran shows his face. And to me, the Haitian veteran is a little bit brighter. And then I start getting more cedar wood and oak moss with it. So it becomes even more woody with a brighter vetiver and the citruses come in more, especially when the, um, I believe, Neroli comes in. Makes, gives it really bright. I do not get any jasmine with this. And I'm absolutely glad because Jasmine, I want to believe out of a lot of notes I don't like. I don't really care that much for Jasmine. I tolerate Jasmine. But this is a realistic, earthy, fresh, clean scent. Since I've had this, every morning I wake up, I smell it. Every morning. This is spring in a bottle. The price point for this is for this 50 ml is 95 stripper ones. Mm, that's almost $2 per ml. It is worth it. To me, to be honest, based on looking at the market, it's kind of underpriced. It probably should be priced around 130 stripper ones, to be totally honest. Would I have paid 130 stripper ones for this veteran? At 50, maybe not. But the reality is, it's 95, that's right in my wheelhouse. This long on performance, so I said, uh, 
for the first two hours, you get pretty good scent bubble. After that, it starts setting a little bit close to the scent, to, to the skin. But my sea odds would last me to about the three hour mark. I was leaving a nice scent trail. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Seven hours of longevity is what I was getting from this. Six and a half to seven hours of longevity. The best, the hottest temperature I had when I was testing this was, I believe, 60 degrees. So I cannot wait to see what this does in 70 to 80 degree weather. This was well composed. This puts you in a journey. Like, very few fragrances will take you on a journey, at least for me. I like a lot of fragrances. I love very few, and even smaller than that takes me on a journey. This is one that takes me on a journey. I love the smell of this. This is a vetiver lover's dream. On a scale of one to 10, I give it a solid 9.5, easy. But you must love vetiver. If you just like vetiver or tolerate vetiver, this is a solid three easy. If you okay and you kind of like vetiver, you know, depending on how you feel about vetiver extreme, if you barely like vetiver extreme by girl on, this is gonna be a five or a six, easy. So it really come down to your experience with vetiver, where you are on your vetiver journey, and how you feel about it. I was building with my homeboy, Hood Sense on IG. Um, give him a follow if you're not. He is a vetiver lover. He has all things vetiver. To him, again, Javoy is his still, Javoy private label is his number one vetiver. It's dense. It's hairy chest, cutting woods, masculine man type vetiver. I haven't smelt it, so I can't speak to things I don't know, but that's kind of what I get from him. But this, to him who's a veteran lover, this is up there, and I believe him because to me, this is right behind um, um, Sultan Veteran by Nishani. So that's gonna be my review of Motif Olfactive that to divert by Mr. Oz. Um, if you tried this fragrance, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Do you want to try this fragrance? Are you a vetiver lover? Leave me some of your comments on your favorite vetivers. I would love to hear them and explore more into vetivers. Y'all know my favorite note is vanilla, um, but I love vetiver. Um, I might even mix some of these vetivers with some of my vanillas to kind of see what I can get out of that. But that's just a whole nother story. He, uh, Mr. Oz also gave me samples of his other offerings from the house. Y'all let me know how y'all want me to review that. Do y'all want me to do a first impression? I don't really care for first impressions because whatever I tell you in the beginning is probably going to not be what I think about it in the end. Because when I first opened up the box and smelt this, this smelt like Home Depot Garden Isle number nine, man. And as I smelt it more and I watched it, just like when you rewatch movies over and over, you pick up different scenes that you didn't notice. I pick up different nuances, which is why I have a hard, fast rule is I won't review a fragrance, at least till I want it for seven to 10 days. I just won't, I won't do it. Um, anyway, um, y'all let me know how y'all want me to do the other house. It's two in mail, so I can probably stretch that for about four days of wearing. Y'all let me know if y'all how y'all would think that'll be best suited or how y'all want to hear about the other offerings from the other house, but I have them. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in universal language of peace.